Hey, what's up, Dean? Today we're talking about heavy push press. Here are a few tips to help you guys maximize the amount of weight you can push over your head. Thing number one, I wanna talk about our grip. So we're not front squatting. You do wanna drop your elbows down so that they are slightly in front of the bar and get a full grip on your barbell. You wanna puff up your chest, puff up your lats, big, strong back muscles. Thing number two, wanna talk about our hips. You wanna push your knees out and your butt back to initiate every lift. So on a push press, the whole idea is using momentum from your hips and your legs to help push weight up and over your head. It is not cheating. It's literally in the name of the movement, all right? And then thing number three, we wanna talk about our head position. So at the top of the movement, I'm gonna physically push my head forward so that my elbows are locked out by my ears. This is not a complete rep. This is a full rep that's gonna get your traps and all your shoulder muscles fully involved. So from the side, dip, drive, dip, drive. You'll kind of notice here, my head, I'm physically getting it out of the way, right? You don't wanna clock yourself in the chin. So if you guys remember that old candy, the Pez dispenser, think about physically pushing your head backward and then pressing up and then once again, finishing with a straight line from your wrist all the way down to your heels. Now at the top of the movement, I should be rock solid here, right? Squeeze your butt, squeeze your quads, squeeze your abs, actively shrugging up. Every muscle in my body is helping me to press that weight up and over my head. If I'm soft at any point in my chain, I'm gonna waver around and it's realistic that I'm not gonna be able to physically hold and secure that heavy load up and over my head. Now, when you're building sets, what I recommend is treating every rep like it's your one rep max. So big inhale, flex your abs, dip, drive, hang out for a hot second, and then treat your legs like shock absorbers on the way down to receive that weight. Give yourself a second, take a big breath, dip, and drive overhead. One thing that you want to get out of your mind is that CrossFit mentality of doing these things as quickly as possible. If you try to do that when going for a super heavy load, you will fail and you will not be able to move as much weight as you should. And then the final thing I want you guys to think about is committing to the lift. So I talked about our head position earlier, but if I'm going for a super heavy weight, and if I even have a shred of doubt in my mind, I've already lost, right? That old saying, whether or not you believe you can, you are correct. So one common mistake I see is people looking at their barbell when going for a heavy lift. So something like this right? If you look up at your barbell, your cervical spine is in extension here, which means you are not going to be successful. And there's a weak link through your chain. So once again, dip and then commit to the lift by physically pushing your head forward and pressing with every muscle in your body. And realistically, when you're going for that one rep max or that heavy single, there is going to be a sticky point somewhere between your nose and your forehead, but you have to push through that shit if you want to get that one rep max. So a big dip and then fight, 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 fight to get that weight up and over your head. Cool. All right, guys, good luck and get after it.